So I was at the dollar store this morning, get myself, uh, we'll get my cat some cat litter so she can uh, hide in her room when the renovations are going on at my house. I bought these. You guys like these cookies? Yeah, look, they're even made better. So this, when they say they're made better, it made me buy them. I love marshmallows and uh, I love chocolate and cookies, so I love these cookies. So I bought these cookies. So how many cookies we got in here? One, two, three, four, five. We got 15 cookies. You guys think I'm going to make it throughout the day without eating all these cookies? How much you want to bet? Huh? How much you want to bet I don't eat them all? Or I do eat them all? I don't know. It's going to snow here today. I got the heater cranked on my, on full blast. And I don't even know what I'm going to carve yet. I'm thinking about uh, carving another. Uh, this is like a, it's a square block of old hemlock. I'm thinking about carving another table top, a table thing. Like these two that I got carved there, but um, just carved. Rob tells me I should carve a grumpy snowman or a big Christmas ball. I'm not in the Christmas spirit this season. Actually, I'm never in the Christmas. Well, I am, but I'm not. But I am, anyways. So yeah, like you'll see those two their tabletop bombs. Like this spring, I'll put little uh, slabs on the top, the tops of them. But this one, um, I don't think I want to do wood spirits. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll make some, like, uh, maybe I'll give this one some color. Maybe I'll make it like uh, some sunflowers on here. Kind of just putter around. I'm not in any major rush. You know, it's, uh, well, I'm going to be here till 5 today. So what time is it now? It's like 9.30 in the morning. So... I got lots of time. I still got this half of the cottonwood uh, tree thing here that I carved the tree out of. So, anyways, I'm just making a video for the hell of it. You can watch, you don't have to watch, but I think I'll do some sunflowers or something or some different type of flowers on each side of this. Then maybe some wood spirits or something. This is uh, bone dry super old hemlock i'm going to show you so you can see the center of the trees right here and all the cracks so it's got a big crack down this side these all four of these blocks that i got my friend uh a family dropped them off for me when i was on the island um they all they're all the center part so you know you see there when you buy a, if you buy a block like this try and make sure that there's no center it's just like um, just the rings. It's just off a big tree. But anyways, there's no center. Don't get the center. But what can you say when you get it for free, right? It's awesome. Well, it's not that awesome. I don't even know what I'm talking about. This wood is uh, it's super chippy. It, like it breaks off in pieces like this. So when you, And it's super hard. I think it's hard anyways compared to carving western red cedar. So, But when you carve something like this, make sure your uh, chains are sharp. Once your chains are sharp, it cuts through this stuff like no problem. Anyways. But yeah, it's super hard on the knuckles when you're using your die grinder too. See all mine are ripped right now because I didn't have gloves on. And I was using my die grinder and I was just it just gets your knuckles. So I'll be taping up my knuckles later today too. Anyways, the show must go on. You know, for the very beginning, wood carvers that love to carve wood spirits, this is the best angle to do your nose with. So watch here. Just draw on a quick nose. Because even with Dremel, and here's your eyes, even with a Dremel, all you do is remove, remove this wood right here and here, and then your nose sticks off that easy. Then once this wood's taken away here, your nose sticks off, then you can tilt it back. And same with your forehead. And then your your face is already round because you're going to eventually cut all this off, all this right here off. But anyways, it's not about a wood spirit today. I don't know. I just don't, I just don't know. So I figure I'll start with a flower like that. Not as big though, because I'm going to have flower petals on here. But the bet, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hack this corner off. On this side. I just thought maybe I should drink some coffee and think about it. 
No, I'm just going to curve it. Okay, so I changed my mind again. You know, when I don't have a plan, when I don't think of a plan the night before, um, the next day when I try and think of something to carve, it's like I'm bipolar with ADHD with Tourette's syndrome. And I just don't know what's going on. So, but today I just, uh, like, see this crack here? I don't think that would work good with the flower. So what I'm going to do is carve a wood spirit here, one on the other side of here, and then a tree here. And a tree here so a wood spirit on let's see wood spirit here one on the other side a tree and a tree and I'll paint the trees green so but what I want to show because I know lots of the subscribers why am I yelling I don't think I need to yell because I got this mic I think lots of the subscribers favorite thing to carve are wood spirits they're my favorite thing to carve too let that be known if you don't know <sighs> like I said earlier in the video you see this triangle even if you get yourself a four by four, split it and ha let me move this up. Ah, get a four by four. Okay, pretend this is a four by four. Split it in half, like that right here. So you got one piece and two piece, and this is your best thing to carve a wood spirit because once you notch that wood out, like I said, your face is already going to be round. You know, it's not going to be. It's not like carving flat this is a hard face to carve because it's flat and you got to make your face look round but when you start on this corner it's already round once this once this corner is gone right here where I'm tapping it's already round so I'm going to show you quickly that's a big helicopter going by but for the very beginners I'm going to show you real quickly Oh, I'm just, like I said earlier, I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to, and this applies for Dremel too, or Fordham's, or whatever you got. Okay, I'm just going to go, I'm going to do a cut here. Pretend this is my saw blade. Cut right here, and then remove all this wood here. All right, then I'm going to just watch what I do. You'll see. I'll try and, I'm just going to film a bit carving. It'll be a live video just blocking out the spirit face just to get the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose to pop off. So cut. I'll cut in the forehead, slope that a bit. You'll just see me messing around, having a good time, I guess. Don't watch. Fast forward if you want. It hurts my stats, but that's okay. Okay, I'm just going to show you a side view. I'm going to get my bar. going to come in here, cut, and remove the wood. I could do the forehead first, but let's just block out this nose so you see how to get the nose to stick off. Get my chainsaw fired up first.
Okay, I hope that wasn't too long. So, what happened there was, I don't know, with this eye, I ran into some punky wood, which means rotten. Right in here. It's all gone now. It was right about here. So, but there you go. Now let's take a look at the side view. Now your nose sticks farthest off the piece. See? Push your eyebrows back, cut it all in. I don't know how well that filmed. So I don't know what else I could show. Um, I'm going to try and, how about I just get this done? Now, so, also, might as well just keep going here. What, that's six minutes. Also, this is where you can decide what kind of bottom lip you want to give it. If you want to give this guy some buck teeth, if you want to give him an open bottom lip, or it's all up to you. Okay, so I'll get this done. Then we'll spin it around. I'll do the other one. Then we'll do some trees. Carry on, carry on. I stood here on the lake. Okay, so I'm glad I made the choice about um, carving a wood spirit this and not the flower. Something was telling me don't carve a flat surface on this. Because look how deep I had to take this eye back. Because that's what you call carved deeper. There was all right where my finger is. You can see here, there's still rotten wood there. So that's what it's called. Carved deeper. So you carve deeper to get away from the rotten wood, you know. Rotten wood's usually mostly on the outside, but sometimes you'll find it trapped in the center. But carve deeper, right? And just adjust. You know, look at the size of that honker. Holy jeez. Okay, so now I'm going to pull out my um, David Grass die grinder with this cut saw burr on here. And uh, after I'm done taking a break, I'm going to clean it up, burn it, sand it, and it will kind of be like that guy. I feel tired today. I don't think those cookies gave me any energy. It just kept on. I had to carve deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. It just kept on breaking apart. It was just all rotten inside there. So I said, okay, well, if it's going to do that, I'm going to keep carving it and making, look, making it look like it's rotten. If that makes any sense. But I still think I might try and save this. I still have this area to carve. Let me spin it. Okay, so I spun it. So here's the rotten stuff. So I still have this to carve. Now can I incorporate this, carve deeper, and, and make it all connect so it doesn't just look so like not there. You know, carve a wood spirit here maybe. Make it some lines connect the two or something. Like this was rotting. And I'll make this kind of side of the face of the wood spirit rotting. I'm not too sure, but anyways, I'll, I'm going to curve this right now. And you know, I'll say this is a perfect example of what, like uh, Ryan Cook and everybody and I say, carve deeper. This is a perfect example of what carve deeper means. To fix your mistakes or problems that you have, sometimes you just got to carve deeper. So what do you guys think? I'm going to be able to fix it up. Let's see, three, two, one. Okay, so that's going to be it for this one. Um, wood carving for me is just a hobby. Same with YouTube, it's just a hobby. I'm lucky enough to be, be able to make a couple bucks at it and live on it. But, um, you know, I live frugal. I don't can't go spend, buy a new chainsaw whenever I want. So I'm just kind of feeling burnt out today. So much has been going on and um, I'm just done. I don't want to use chainsaw uh the chainsaws when I'm tired like this and I suggest to everybody else even if you're a pro you're tired put your chainsaw down go rest so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna because they're in my house doing all the renovations it's a nightmare I'm not even gonna get into it but I can't there's nowhere for me to lie down or sit down there like I had to do the voiceover sitting on the bathroom toilet yesterday for the little tree video but I'm gonna go uh, I got lots of friends places I can go stay at and relax 
But I'm just going to go, it's just starting to snow, little tiny snowflakes here. I'm going to go sit at the beach, uh, crank my heat, and just kind of maybe fall asleep down there where I go beach combing. So this piece of wood was got really rotten on the inside. So I don't know if you guys can see it here. I'll zoom in. So here's half that face. I did put some paint in there, some red and green. I don't know how well you guys are going to see it. This is what, you guys let me know. Get rid of that cigarette butt. You guys let me know what you think. Did I fix it or did I ruin it? So that's all the rotten part. So what I did is I made this guy's beard blowing over here and I carved it. Uh, see how it blows over in here? Carves deeper into here. And this is just all rotten. So if somebody wants to buy this piece, once it's done and I get the nice tabletop on it, like um, cedar, nice shiny little thing. Somebody says, well, why is that like that? And I'll say, oh, I just kind of was feeling creative that day, and I wanted to make it seem like half the face was rotting out. There's excuses for everything. Sometimes you get away with it. Sometimes you don't. You just got to hope that you do. But, like, any of my carvings, I don't, like... This will, these will, these coffee tables will eventually sell or little end tables outside by your fire pit or picnic bench or whatever. Um, carve deeper. Did it work or didn't it? I'm going to stop talking here and uh, get this video over with and um, go have a nap on the beach. Hope everybody's good and um, we'll see you soon. Oh, how many cookies did I eat? It's like... Two in the afternoon right now, so oh no, it's like one. It's one. I ate well. There's a five each row, so there's one missing there. So I ate six cookies. That's it for me. I just don't. Um, I don't feel very good. So normally I could eat one of these in a the day, no problem. No problem. I don't care if you guys want to call me pig or gorger or whatever. These are the best cookies. They're shitty for you. They're gonna kill you. Maybe that's why I got pain here. But who doesn't love cookies? Anyways, that's it. Confusion. Over and out. Let's give you a quick... Uh, see the green in there? It's nice to just add some color once in a while. See how deep it is in there? I can always paint over this black and hit it again. It's not a big deal. It's just art. Carve deeper, though. Fix your mistakes. Confusion. Bye. Sorry, I don't have my microphone, but it looks like some more wood washed up. Look at that nice cedar log right there. Ugh. I'm not getting it. I'm not doing anything. I'm relaxing. Ugh. Look at those cottonwood trees right here. Two little cottonwoods. I might have to take one or two.